can make you famous by the way my name is. What is up, guys? It is Money Shark Gaming here. So it's been a really long time since I've made a hub video. It was two weeks ago when I built Nathan McKinnon. Uh, three weeks ago, I made my video why I'm done with HUT and everything. And, you know, since three weeks ago when I made that video, I have literally played five games. I've played five games the past three weeks. I just needed a break from Hockey Ultimate Team, so I thought I'd update you guys on how I still feel about it. And just in general, like, where I'm at with HUT and, you know, if I am going to play in NHL 25. So to give you an answer before I explain to it, to give you the brief answer... I will play NHL 25. I, I, I have had a change of heart about it uh, on my UFC video, uh, my Let's Talk UFC series that I started. I said that, uh, you know, at near the end of the video or near the beginning, I think that I, I've had a change of heart about Ultimate Team that I talk about it sometime this week. So, yes, this is the video. I will play NHL 25, but it will be pay to win. I mean, it will be uh, free to play. This year was pay to win for the most part, I'll be honest. Obviously, I've grinded the market as well. Like, pay to win can only take you so far unless you spend uh, over $1,000 in this game. I've probably spent about four or $500 on this game. Um, I guess you could say about maybe a bit more if you include the gift cards I got for my birthday, but that's not out of my pocket. But uh, this year, it was uh, pay to win. I probably will not spend any more money on this game. I The last time I spent money was team my Team of the Year pack opening. but you know, I, I will play, but it's going to be free-to-play next year. And uh, next year, my team will be for all the free-to-play guys, you know. Uh, I'm sure there's free-to-play players that watch my channel anyways, you know, just the pack openings and stuff like that. But uh, I thought I'd give you guys a little update on the team. But, yes, I, I have had a change of heart about uh, playing this game. I just needed a break from it. And I will not be playing as much as I used to be. I mean, I was playing probably two hours a day. Uh, minimum even the days where I worked I would come home and still play like a couple hours before I went to bed so not not that I'll probably play about two to three hours a week of ultimate team I've just been having fun with the game like playing other game modes like world of chell uh, be a GM mode I just needed a break from HUD so I played literally five games I played like what like four HUD champs games and I think like a squad battles game or something like that um, I haven't played a whole lot Maybe one Rivals game too, so probably like six games to be honest. I played a Rivals game, a Squad Battle games, and four Hut Champs games since I made that video. So I will be playing a little bit more again, but I thought, you know, I'd update you guys on that. So here's a team update. Uh, first line, still the mega line of uh, Team of the Year McDavid, Gretzky, and uh, Lemieux. Second line, we got Team of the Year McKinnon still with uh, X Factor Panarin and Jack Hughes. X, uh, Panarin's one of those guys, he's just such a gem in this game because he has the custom skating stride. Um, or the, I forget what they call it, the authentic s skating stride, where it's like they, or I, I forget the name of it, but there's, I think, five players in this game that have their own skating stride, and Panarin and McDavid are two, uh, and Mc, McKinnon are two of them. I think McDavid has his own custom stride as well, and I think Jack Eichel's the other one. So uh, Panarin's always good in this game. Same reason Eichel's always good in this game. Same reason McKinnon's always good in this game. It's that custom stride. Like, these guys literally went to EA, and they have their own custom stride in the game compared to the other guys that have their uh, the default strides. But I really like this line. They're fast. They're they're speedy. Um, I could definitely see these guys staying together the whole year when I upgrade Panarin and Hughes to their team of the season cards later in March or April. So you're probably wondering, what's Lucas Raymond doing here? So I sold Fantasy Dowdy, and I decided to invest in some more cards, uh, more Fantasy cards uh, with, you know, that are technically lesser in value but have more upside. Like, I bought this Raymond for about 600 k and I think he's going to get to 99 probably by team of the season. So that's, that's he'll probably I'll probably be making double profit on that. Dowdy, he's been selling for about, just over a million for quite some time now since everybody kind of knew he'd be one of the first 99s. I don't don't see how his price is going to get any higher. Uh, since Dowdy got to 90 overall, his price has kind of been the same. And, you know, he's a fantasy card with an X factor as well. So Dowdy, he was never going to be one of those guys that was going to get over 2 million coins. Um, so yeah, Raymond right now, he's been playing with the Sedins. Raymond is an investment card. I will eventually sell him uh, once he gets to around that 1 million mark. Uh, fourth line, so I sold Fantasy Hurdle and decided to invest in the X-Factor one. Like I said, like, the Fantasy cards that have X-Factors, 
it, there's just no point in having them. I mean, there really isn't uh, any upside. The X-Factor cards are cheaper, and, you know, I, I think Thomas Hurl is going to have a Team of the Season card, so uh, especially being on Team of the Season Europe, if they do the Team of the Season Europe again. So, I mean, there's just no point. I'll rather, I'd rather have the Team of the Season card over the Fantasy card anyways when that gets released, assuming that he gets one. I think there's like a 70 to 80% chance he'll get one. So waiting on the 93 or 95 team builders like everybody else. So when I sold Dowdy, I was able to build another team builder, uh, Willie Mitchell. I was able to upgrade some other guys too. Uh, so my thir uh, first pairing is Makar and Hughes. Hughes X Factor with Team of the Year Makar. Uh, second pairing, we got the nostalgic 2008 Detroit Stanley Cup champion pairing of Blitzstrom and Chelios. And then Sean Dursey is another guy I invested in. I am hence was telling everybody, buy Dursey, buy Dursey. And I think Dursey will be a really good investment as well. Uh, so yeah, we got Willie Mitchell. He's been a beast. Uh, I played two games with him, but I can definitely see what the hype is about. Uh, so yeah, goaltenders. We still got uh, X Factor Sorokin. I decided to put this All Star goalie in. So yeah, I mean that's the team update. I'll give you guys a little storage set update. So another reason why I'm frustrated with EA is uh, right now I'm on old gen, right? And I was planning on buying a new gen console, and you know, finding out about the hut migration progress, uh, the hut migration process, I'm going to delay that a little bit. I was going to get a new gen for Christmas. You know, I had enough money to, you know, buy it outright, but I'm probably going to wait till team of the season because EA, uh, I tried contacting them for the, for the past few weeks and they've just been hooking me up with either Rohit or Rahul, one of these workers that are probably getting paid two dollars an hour in Bangladesh I mean that's how bad EA's customer service is now they don't even offer on the phone service because you can't pay anyone enough money to take that crap and I don't blame anyone for not wanting to take that crap like on the phone um, EA they they're a company that's released flawed game after flawed game after flawed game and customers are pissed I, I don't blame any uh, one depending on what country you're in to want to do on the phone customer service so now they have that automated email customer service and it's absolutely horrible they either link you up with Rahul or Rohit or Abdul in Bangladesh making two dollars an hour it's it's despicable what EA is doing and you know I've I, all I did I, I asked them a few questions what's gonna happen to my power-up players are they gonna reset if I migrate what's gonna happen to my 99 collectibles they just would not answer. They kept giving me this automated thing. Can we get your PSN or Xbox account uh, information? Like, and this is help.ea uh, email address. This It's the real EA address. And it, it's like, why do you need my EA account? Why do you need my Xbox account? I asked two simple questions. I didn't ask you to fix anything. I didn't ask for content or anything. I, I didn't ask for any to make any purchases. I asked three simple questions and they couldn't give me a simple answer for the past weeks all they've been giving me is just bullshit automated responses if it wasn't for reddit and if it wasn't for that Finnish youtuber i forget his name i would have no no idea what the hut migration process was you know uh the Finnish, i forget his name but this youtuber from finland he showed the hut migration progress so i have an idea of what you get the one question i still had was the 99 collectibles but luckily for reddit as well i got my answer and the 99 collectibles uh, will transfer over. All collectibles will transfer over power-ups and everything, and, you know, apparently your power-up icons and your X-Factors stay powered up as well. So that's really comforting to know. So I should be on next-gen around March or April after Team of the Season. Once my Team of the Season, uh, once Team of the Season's done and my team is set, I will migrate over um, to next-gen, and I will be playing NHL 25, but next year will be pay to win. So I'm glad, uh, I'm grateful that all you guys stayed subscribed for the most part. I only lost two subscribers since I made that video. And, uh, you know, I, I, you guys uh, motivate me to play this game again. You know, I took some time from the game, needed some a break from it, and I'm not as emotionally invested in this game as I used to be. I used to get so pissed off of this game, but the other day I played a Hut Champs game, and it was a bullshit game. And I didn't even get pissed anymore because it's just like, it's just a game. And it wasn't, it was my fault for getting so emotionally invested in this game. And, you know, so I thought I'd show you guys a, a few things. So with the hut migration, you know, apparently you keep your 99 collectibles. So if I migrated today, I have 20 uh, ultimate prize uh, collectibles and... Uh, I think, what is it, level 21 just got released. So if I wanted to, if I migrated today, I could 
I could technically complete this set, but on Reddit, that's the one only thing I couldn't get an answer to. There are people who have 40 collectibles, but they're not uh, changing it in because they don't want to potentially get like a bronze card because some people think that if you exchange the 40 collectibles now, if you were one of those people that migrated, it would be Tim Campbell because the content hasn't technically been released yet of the 890, 899 players. Apparently there's supposed to be 899 players. The content apparently hasn't been released yet, so nobody's pulled the trigger yet. When I do migrate over, it is tempting to take that risk and, and go for it. But at the same time, I mean, if it's a bronze player, then I get absolutely fucked. So maybe not worth it. So, I mean, we'll see when the time comes. Uh, I thought I'd share with you my plan. So another uh, cool thing I wanted to show you is uh, a way to make coins. I, I did touch on it last time, the I am hence method. Uh, but before I do on that, before I do that, I will uh, show you guys the storage update. So I did buy some more fantasy cards. I think Justin Falk's going to have a big second half. I was looking at his stats over the years. and the last, I think, two or three seasons, he would have got a 99. So, Falk, I think that's a really good investment. I invested in Sergachev. He is injured, but he will come back, apparently, after the All-Star break. He's skating again. I could definitely... I don't know if Sergachev's going to hit 99, but I definitely think he'll hit at least a 90, and it's it's a good investment. Latang, I think he'll start putting the puck in the net, too. Um, so, yeah, I mean, just stock up on some fantasy cards. Um, yeah. And Pastor I'm keeping his MSP juiced up because... Uh, he will get a team of the season card, and there will most likely be another Pasternak MSP to team of the season. Last year, Pasternak team of the season had two sets, the MSP to team of the season set, and the X-Factor one. So, yeah. Um, what else was I going to say? Yeah, team builder. Uh, so, the I am hence method, uh, I talked about a, one of my last videos that I did on Hockey Ultimate Team about how you can uh, flip team builder cards and, you know, gradually build it that way and still make coins but i have a new method it's it's kind of it's the same as the i am hence method but it, i altered it and put my own kind of twist to it so this is what i'm going to call the anaheim ducks method so the anaheim ducks are not only one of the easiest team builders to make uh along with the arizona coyotes uh but these are the two teams that take the least to get to right like let's say you're building a team like uh like san jose you have to screw all the way back here where Anaheim, it's quick. I mean, you just scroll for a few seconds, and it's right there. So I'll show you the Anaheim Ducks method. So this is what I call the Anaheim Ducks method. You can make coins and build team builders. It's really effective. Like, I managed to build Willie Mitchell, and it was very effective. So this it's the same as the I am hence method. You buy the NHL team builders for 1,000 coins or under on the buy now market. As you can see, I have 42 on my trade pile. Like, by the time all these sell, plus the ones I have on the auction house, I'll probably have 80K. Like, I've made 80K in just today, basically. Like, the, like last night I logged on, I bought a shit ton of these. And, uh, you know, already quite a few have sold. So, literally in a day, I've made 15K. And that's me just logging on last night and this morning. So, um, yeah, I mean, you put them up for 1300 for three days. Sometimes they just sell, sometimes they don't. If they don't sell, they'll definitely sell the next three days. Uh, you put them up for three days, and it's just a passive way to make coins. Uh, you you make about three to four k for every twenty five cards after EA tax. It's just a passive way to make coins. And what I like about this method is the Anaheim Ducks method. You're looking out for Anaheim Ducks players. Every other card that you buy. So let's I'll give you a quick example, right? So you NHL. It's better to show you than to explain it. So let's say you do a thousand coins, right? There's a ton of them on the market. Let's say you set it to 950, right? See how there's an Anaheim Ducks card? That gets sent to the collection. One more thing I'd like to add. I'm not the if I if there's an Anaheim Ducks card that's an 80 plus right now, I will not send it to my collection. I will flip that. I will only start buying the 80 ones once I have 15 70 uh under 80 overall Anaheim Ducks cards. So, let's say cuz for each team builder set you need 15 uh cards that are under 80 overall and you need 10 that are 80 plus so once i have 15 cards anaheim ducks gold cards that are under 80 overall then i'll start focusing on the 80 overall anaheim ducks cards so uh that's just one more thing i'd like to add so that anaheim ducks card 
I got it for what 900 coins 950 coins that one I sent to the collection but the rest of these guys I'm flipping the rest of these guys I'm flipping so usually one out of eight cards will be an Anaheim Ducks card so that's I mean this card Jordan Spence that's big profit there I mean so cards like that any card that's not an Anaheim Ducks card gets sent to the trade deadline so you'll uh, trade pile so you'll notice that I'd say like I said one out of eight at best will be Anaheim Ducks cards. So you're realistically for me, it's been um, realistically for me, it's been usually like one out of 16. So if one out of 16 are Anaheim Ducks cards, I'm making profit and I'm building the team builders for free basically. So I thought I'd share that method with you guys. And uh, yeah, it's just uh, thank you guys for watching and have a great day.